What's up, Tarnish? It's your boy, and we're back with another video. In today's video, we're going to be posting about Project Slayers and, like, you know, just pro tips. Pro tips, I would say, stuff to do and, you know, how I got where I am now. But as you can see here, I got Komodo, Komodo, um, Goku. So, for races, for I said for races, um, for, for clans that you want, since I'm part of the Komodo clan, I have two of them. All you want to do is really just AFK. You can you can AFK, you can put codes in, or you can do your daily spins. Your daily spins are right here. Like as you can see right here, I got 20 spins left today. You could go ahead and you can spin, right? And then you gain spins right here, which you can use, you know, to spin for more. Let's see if we land on a spin. And this, this is a pro tip video for just everything. Like, so as you can see here, when you hover over this, it tells you hourly playtime, AFK rewards. You feel me? You earn spins. You, you earn sp daily spins, you earn clan spins, you earn demon spins, you earn double, double them. You get double the amount with premium. So instead of getting three, you'd get six. So if you have premium, it's even better. So you get two times the amount. And as you can see here, it elevates and you continuously get more over time. But you just just chilling in here. You can rack up around to like as much spins as you want. If you didn't know that, now you do. But you see, I just landed on spins. Like the maximum amount of spins that, clan spins that you can get from this AFK in here um it's pretty good so like if you fk here you also get these daily spins so you have a crazy amount of daily spins you get to if you fall on one of these if you fall on items you can get like anything like it could be any item like you go end up falling on um, like a super rare item like akaza's pants or like the the blade or sometimes you can fall on none like as you just saw So it's very lucrative if you just stay here and just do that. A lot of people done that. My um, my friends, um, one of my friends ended up getting the champion, the champion's um, blade, this one right here, the one that's on the screen right here. I think that I think that's lightning, but they look almost similar though. But yeah, and another tip that I could give y'all for when y'all playing the game is get titles. Get titles. Titles really help. Like, I'm going to go into the second world since this is a pro tip. And I'm pretty sure half of y'all are, you know, a decent level. If y'all want me to make a video on, like, you know, what could I say? Make videos on, for lower levels, from like, a level 1 to, well, level 1 to, like, max level. But I don't really have any low levels. All my level, uh, all my slots are, like, past 100. I've started on a whole new account. <clears throat> I have a I have a, a second alt account, so I got like four of them actually, yeah, and I spent robux on all of them, so they're not that bad. But yeah, like once you spawn in the game, though, first thing I would say is like, go farm bosses, bro. Like, I mean, yeah, you can go to the you can go to the blacksmith buy his sword if you're just starting the game, but if you want drops, bro, just focus on farming bosses, like. And it doesn't matter which boss you fight. Like, it could be the SoundCloud. I said SoundCloud. Sound. You could fight the Sound Trainee. You go to the Sound Trainee, and then if you're strong enough, then rotate the main bosses. The one with the tier five chest. Because with the tier, the higher the tier of the chest that you that drops, the better your chances are to get drops. And another, and another thing that you could do is. You can also um, farm on every, um, I think it's Friday, Saturday, Sunday. Yeah, it's Friday, Saturday, Sunday. They have two times drop. Hold on, let me fix this. Yeah, they have two times drop. So if you want to go ahead and do that, you can. But as you can see here, bro, it's pretty easy. But I am, like, I'm, I am high level. So like, easy to farm. Or you can trade. But... Keep in mind that for trading, you have to have certain like le you have to have a high level. So that's that's the best way to get certain stuff like Akaza pants. I got Akaza pants and 
and Aqua's a shirt. Like the whole set, I, as you can see here, like I just got a decent amount of drops. But I got Aqua's a pants shirt, this blade, everything on me, I traded for. I traded for all of them. Yeah, so trading is another best way that you can get like items, specific items that you want, like right away. Like if you, if I go over here, I'll do a whole like video where I, where I do what's in my inventory. Um, but let's see. I'm just collecting stuff, and I. There's a, I have a lot, bro. But yeah, I have Enmu set. I have two Domas. I have one Akaza, and I have three Polars. Three Polars, two two Polar bottoms. So if y'all want, if y'all want, if y'all want any of these Polar fits, I'll do one Polar set giveaway. All you gotta do is just join the Discord. And say you want it and then I'll just do like a quick little giveaway for those you know and then I'll farm for more obviously but yeah I got damn near all of these from trading and then this mass is really good bro it's really good especially if you want to be like trading and stuff like say if you want to get into trading and like you want to build your inventory bro literally just get this mask this mask gives you it's really good though it's like a super low um, rate drop but it gives you five percent um drop rate and i have two of them no i'm not i'm not gonna give none of y'all this mask but as you can see i have 18 drop rate and i can make it go higher really I can make it go much higher but i'm not even trying to that's not that's not even my drop build right now because i would have to be running what's his name i'd have to be running doma pants i think doma pants is the one that gives it yeah, it gives a 2.5% drop and some other stuff also. I think it was a Hayori. I think I have it on though. Yeah, it gives a 5% drop chance. Like these, I have three of these and I have, I think, two of this. Like I could I could give somebody like a drop build. So if y'all want a video for like the best drop build that you could possibly run for farming drops to trade, I can, you know, do that. And another thing, if you want to level up fast, bro, I'm talking about to get to, like, level 225. I'll be, if y'all want me to go live, I'll go live, and then I'll, like, sit there and help y'all do dungeons all day. But dungeons is probably the best thing, bro. I'm not gonna lie, because you just use all the points that you get to gain XP. And then, if you could, if you could afford a two times potion, it helps. It actually, it helps, like, it, it counts it. Instead of just giving you 25 it gives you 50 so every potion every like every time you pop 25 you're getting 50 50 xp so if we're we're racking you up around like 4,000 points every round like so you're gonna go up a few couple of levels like at least 10 levels every every dungeon we do now we could do a few in it one day we could do a few in one day and if we're live streaming we're gonna have enough people to do dungeons and i have a lot of my friends that are like max level so if y'all want that to happen, just let me know in the comments down below. Like I said again, I'll be making videos for this game also. And Haze Peace and Clover Retribution. Um, yeah, those are going to be the three main games that I post about. So if you're interested on those in those other games also, you can, you know, I'll for sure have content for those in the game. But if you're just interested in this game and you just want to focus on one game right now, that's okay. With, that's the same. It's okay. But I'll have a day dedicated to just, you know, chilling on um, this game right here. And helping people but yeah leave a like comment subscribe and if it was helpful oh for some people that don't know where it is i'm gonna show you i literally have like one minute left i'm gonna try to show you as fast as i can because a lot of people don't even know where this the dungeon is the it's crazy the ugarra dungeon so what you want to do is you want to run it in infinite mode you don't want to do the one that's like actually in the game the one that's in the game does it doesn't like have infinite you can actually finish that one just want to go to hub and then once you get to hub, hubbity hub hub, you know. Once you get to hub, just, just patience. Then you just want to run the the dungeon. You can run it alone. You can run it with friends. You could, you know, invite people. I think the max invites that you can do is five. There's a pretty decent amount of people in here. And then once you get in there. You could either when you buy yourself, you're you're able to do the champion, the, the champion gear, whatever is on sale this week. And if you wanted to know how to like get champion stuff, like if you what's what's for the week, if you go close to them and then you just like stand near them, once it says claim, season fifty nine reward, like it'll just you know it'll just say claim it. 
and that's the Henry. Let me see. Yeah, like bro, there's there's just no way. Like these guys, are, they got to be hacking or something, bro. They got to be hacking or something, cause like they're they're like at three thousand, almost four thousand. They got to be hacking, or they're doing something I'm not, bro. Honestly, cause I've tried I've tried this multiple times, and it's like damn near impossible to actually get these items right here. So. If you're watching this video and you have one and you would like me to have it, bro, I'd gladly take a sword. Like, literally, it don't even have to be, like, the full set. Just the sword. But, yeah, leave a like, comment, subscribe, catch you on the next video. Peace.